Hey guys, it's Branto75, and I want to make an updated version of the PS2 emulator HD settings tutorial. There were some miscommunications. Um, I've learned a lot of things since that video. So 10,000 views later, let's make an updated version of this video to where there's hopefully less confusion. Um, so the main goal of this is to make your emulator look a lot better. Um, as you can see, like around the edges of Leon's hair, we're using Kingdom Hearts 2 um, Final Mix as an example. As you can see around the edges of Leon's hair, it kind of like fades out of existence here. Um, there's there's uh, little jaggies all around his hair, around the edges, over here, up there. Uh, pretty much around everything, there's little jaggies and it's not as smooth and it looks kind of pixelated. And we're trying to get rid of this. Now, one thing that is going to be the determining factor is your computer. So depending on the specs of your computer is going to determine how well your game performs with these changes. Now, like I've said before, you can adjust these settings to... Sorry, mind blank. You can adjust these settings to fit your needs uh, perfectly. So let me just switch things over here. All right. So, like I said, depending on your computer, it's gonna determine how what is gonna determine what settings you can use. So, I'm gonna use my uh, my graphics card as the main driver uh, to drive the graphics of the game. And so, and then we're going to switch the renderer. For me, me with my graphics card and how the emulator works with the hardware that I have. Um, I'm using Direct3D 9, but if you have better performance with Direct3D 11, um, go ahead by all means use Direct3D 11. Um, but just for my personal hardware, Direct3D 9 works the best for me. Now, the main change that is going to make the world a difference is going to be your resolution. Changing it, changing the resolution is going to be very tolling on your computer um, so this is where most of the uh, the process is is taking place um, everything else is pretty much just kind of like you know fine-tuning everything but if you just want you know better uh, better looking games um, all you really have to do is up the resolution and the emulator takes care of everything for you um, so for me, I just like to run it at 4x because 5x and 6x makes it start kind of look a little grainy. Um, for me, it starts looking a little bit grainy, and especially around the words. There's like little lines, and it, it looks funny. And um, so I'm just going to use a uh, 4x native. So the rest of these things are just kind of like little tweaks. I like to enable shade boost. It makes the the shade uh, the shadows and other stuff like that just kind of pop a little bit more. And to get a little bit more color out of the game, because I've noticed with the emulator the emulators, the games just ta seem to look a little bit washed out. So I just bumped up the uh, the saturation by about 10 points. Um, so from 50 to 60. Um, should make your colors pop a lot more, look a, bit, look a little bit more like uh, the PS2 um, would on a regular TV. And it just makes your game pop a little bit more, a little bit more appealing to look at. And FXAA shader. Um, goes towards like anti-aliasing, um, almost like the blending of the uh, of the textures around the corners of objects and um, especially hair, for example. It just kind of blends it in a little bit more, um, makes it a little bit less noticeable. And then you can kind of go and just check these boxes as you see fit. Um, I don't really see a whole lot of difference with any of these boxes being changed, um, but go ahead and enable or disable them. Um, all you have to do is just kind of play around with them and just see what works best for you. Um, see if you notice something that maybe I didn't. Um, but I just have all these, um, all these checked because they're supposed to, um, help, uh, textures and, um, make them look a little bit cleaner. So HW hacks, um, is kind of like a separate thing, um, than the main set of options. It kind of gives you even more fine detail depending on what game you're using.
because sometimes you can um, have textures be offset or whatever, and you can just kind of check the boxes as they see fit. So right up here at the top for MSAA uh, is definitely the, the main source of anti-aliasing, which is one of not, if not the most taxing things on your computer. Uh, just for me to keep performance up, I just keep it at zero because changing the resolution already helps the anti-aliasing a lot. And then I just enable alpha and sprite um, just to um, help out the smaller textures a lot more. And then pretty much when you're done, all you have to do is click OK. You don't need to worry about software mode because that only refers to Direct3D9 or Direct3D11 software mode, which uses the emulator um, to drive the uh, the textures and the, the graphics. Um, but we're using my graphics card, so we want to use that. And then pretty much all you do is just press OK. And you will see a dramatic difference in the uh, the game. Um, as you can see, hair, a lot more defined. Um, this is actually like, you know, not like a little couple pixels. And everything looks a lot cleaner, especially with the fuzz around Leon's jacket. You can actually like define, see the definition in between the hairs. Um, or the fur, I guess, should be it. And... But uh, so yeah, as you can see, the game game runs pretty well. Um, I used OBS to record this instead of Camtasia, like I did last time. Um, it's less taxing on my computer, and I can actually still play the game and record, and it works perfectly. It, it looks very pretty, especially around the command menu. Um, all the words are a lot more uh, more sharp, and they just it just looks all around better. So, I hope this helped you guys out. Again, if you have any questions, um, leave them in the comments. I try to check as often as possible. Sometimes I forget that I have a second YouTube channel. And, um, so yeah. Alright guys, have a nice day. Later.